Greetings! Today we're going to see which one of these woods can handle molten aluminum and which ones can't take the heat. The winners will join the best ones from last time and move on to the hotter bronze round. Hopefully from there I'll be able to choose a wood for a slightly more intense version of a wood and resin project because fire makes everything cooler. Or hotter. You know what I mean. So if you want to know more about why I'm doing this, other than like mental instability obviously, uh, go watch the last video in this series uh, after you watch this one. You can watch them out of order, that's not a problem. It's like, it's like Star Wars. Uh, hopefully though, the sequel to all this uh, isn't going to suck. But also like Star Wars, I would gladly sell all of this to Disney for four billion dollars. I feel like we've gone off topic a little bit. Let's get to the fire. Here are the test candidates. We have Lignum Vita, Sycamore, Balsa, yes Balsa, Ipe, Osage Orange, Hard Maple, Basswood, Jatoba, Ash, Red Oak, Aromatic Cedar, Basswood, wait, two Basswoods, Walnut, African Blackwood, and Ebony. I'm ramming these up similarly to the first test. Gotta keep things, you know, vaguely scientific and all. Uh, due to cost and uh, availability, also laziness and time constraints, these aren't all cut to the same size like they were last time. I noticed even like the worst ones from last time didn't really get affected by the heat deeper than like a quarter inch or so. Plus the small species here, like they're, they're more for fun. I mean, no one's gonna make a full tabletop out of ebony unless they are insane and rich. You'll notice that large steel bar and brass ingot on top. That isn't just to make the test impossible to see and screw up my shot. Uh, that's to stop the wood from like floating up on the metal. Molten metal can like lift whole flasks packed with sand, resulting in a really bad day. So pieces of wood don't really stand a chance to not float. They're packed in pretty tight, but you know, better safe than uh, fire. I let it sit there and like cool down slowly, giving the wood all the time it needs to get all good and burned up. I suspect the sand at the bottom works a little bit like a chill, I mean relative to the open air and flames on the top. If I do any projects with this kind of setup, I would most likely have both sides of the, the piece packed in sand. Hopefully that'll help cut down the smoke and keep things a little cleaner looking, but we shall see. I analyze these again by observing like how far back the wood burned from the metal. You can kind of see the metal piece bumps out a little bit if the wood had burned back before the metal had solidified, and that's pretty cool to look at. I didn't like break out the micrometer or anything like that. I'm not a machinist and this is wood. I also tested the strength of the charred area by like jamming my thumbnail in there just like last time. There was one issue that screwed up this test. Some of these woods, like this one here, Lignum Vita, came kind of like impregnated with like wax and stuff. I, I took a saw and like cut the edges off. I thought it was just on the surface, but you can see the color kind of in there. When the metal hit it, it just all started boiling the wax off. And I'm not sure how well of a test, like how rigorous this actually is. So I think we can just like ignore that result, just move it off to the side. So let's go from like worst to best. Start with the don't bother category. The worst performer, unsurprisingly, is balsa. It charred back really bad. It basically feels all spongy, the burn spot. Also the normal part of the wood, the unburned stuff feels spongy. I just kind of threw this in as a joke and yet people voted for it on the poll I put on. Not sure why. Yeah, no, it didn't work. Next up, aromatic cedar. Technically a juniper, but you know, I didn't name the woods, don't blame me. Not real good. Smells good though, when you cut it. So there's that. Sycamore, same thing. It's all spongy and burned up. It's probably not as bad as the other ones. And oddly enough, basswood didn't visibly burn back at all. It almost looks undamaged, just like someone spray painted it. But if you go to like the thumbnail test, it just crumbles right in. No strength there at all. Moving up, the huge shocker, a borderline don't bother and uh, kind of marginal wood, Ipe. Here, I thought this one would do really well because of all the press it gets for being so fireproof. Well, when the molten metal was up against it, it caught fire just like all the other woods, except aromatic cedar. Figure that out. It burned back a long ways and it's all crumbly and has no strength left in it at all. Okay, who else here thinks Ipe was full of crap about that fireproof thing? Let's try it out. Here's balsa. Okay, balsa kind of burns. Basswood. Basswood burns even better. Aromatic cedar, this one would not burn with the metal. Eh, it kind of burns now. I don't know, that sure looks like Ipe's burning just fine. I think whoever said Ipe doesn't burn is full of crap. Looks like it's burning better than the other ones. It's still burning, still on fire. Whoa, look at balsa. What happened to you, man? Moving up the marginal category, we got ash, which looks pretty good, almost as good as oak. Next up, jatoba, similar, pretty tough, maybe a little less tough, but it burned back a little less. Red oak did pretty well. I'm not gonna bother moving this on to the next round because white oak did so much better. So, you know, maybe give it a shot if you like red oak. Personally, I don't. And next is walnut. Walnut burned back quite a bit, but it's fairly sturdy. Slightly better yet, we get to 
Hard maple. So it looks a little bit more burned back than say hickory from last time. And the burned edge is really tough. So I would probably move that forward to the next round. I mean, it's yet another thing that maple is just really good at. It's like good for everything. You know, furniture, cabinets, floors, long bows, syrup that you can drink. It's, it's great. Drink who drinks syrup? I'm not Canadian. You know what I mean. It makes pancakes not so dry, right? But who would dare have a pancake without like syrup or strawberry or something, something. If you ever just tried a bare pancake, it's no good. Next on the ranking, Osage Orange. Now this is a weird piece because I, I glued two thin pieces together. So it got this kind of weird opening in the middle. The part that was touching the metal itself is uh, it's still rock hard. I would say it's just as hard of an edge, the burned edge as hard maple. So that's moving on. And kind of tied for first are two of the weird ones. I got ebony and African blackwood. I cannot tell at all looking at these things which one is charred more because they're all black. They both obviously were packed full of the wax that I talked about with the lignum vita, but the edges, you know, I can kind of see where the metal was touching them, basically still rock hard. So there you go. If you made a money and you can get gigantic pieces of African blackwood, go nuts. I mean, the, the black and the metal would sure look cool. That means those go on to the next round. So does Osage and hard maple. They join white oak and hickory. I'm also going to bump up uh, cherry and walnut just because I like those woods. They're cheap and people make a lot of furniture out of them. So why not bump them up to the next round? See what, see what happens, right? We're going to do bronze, not brass, because I don't like zinc fumes. And bronze is cooler anyway. I think bronze is cool. There may be no survivors. If I've already done that, the, the clicky thing will be on the screen. Click that to go watch that. Okay. 